This is our fifth year in operations. We are a technology solutions company. Uh, our business is creating technology-led interventions for our customers and their businesses. And there are two kinds of interventions that we provide. If you look at our customers, either they are being disrupted by technology or they are creating disruption in their industry. And we try and help them in both these cases. The differentiation we bring to the market vis-a-vis -vis many of our customers, including some, many of our competitors, including the larger competitors, is we are extremely technology-centric. We understand business very well, but we work on areas which create these interventions to disrupt businesses. Uh, we work with some of the largest high-tech companies in the world. We work with some of the largest financial services. We work with some of the largest retailers in the world. Our large focus has been companies bigger than $4 billion in size uh, for specifically some of the services we provide. And we are expanding both from a segment perspective as well as from, uh, from uh, a size perspective. Uh, we have over 350 people worldwide. Uh, we are a global company with presence in six locations in the US. Uh, we have presence in EMEA, in Amsterdam, and we have a center here in Bangalore as well supporting our global customers as well as Asia Pac market. See, if you look at and divide the world of what's happening in technology, you can largely put it across uh, four categories. One is execution capabilities. Second is planning, analytics, and pure play futuristic disruption, right? So we largely play into all four, but specifically if you look at large concentration of our revenue is in the later three which is planning analytics and disruption uh, for example we are a partner of uh, one of the leading cloud planning platform anaplan we help larger companies create roadmap for the connected planning that connects planning across different functions such as finance sales sales operations marketing human resources supply chain back into finance and we help companies ranging from size 4 billion to 50 billion to actually create planning capabilities and very quickly roll them out one at a time and start connecting these dots to the platform that we work with. Uh, we do have our own IP in the market, specifically supporting both of these towers. Uh, to give an example of our flagship product we call uh, Power Me. Think about it as a Google search for enterprise data and enterprise BI. So we bring the entire veneer of enterprise data, uh, whether it is set of reporting system, databases, uh, uh, ETL applications, or now your data lakes, and bring the metadata tied to all of them across multiple technology providers into a common taxonomy. We automatically pull that information, we put it in a cluster, and we provide a set of analytics on top of that used by primary target being chief data officers who are charting the journey from uh, their current landscape going into data lakes building out data lakes for their analytic strategies we help them with this platform and our services to navigate through the priorities the roadmap understanding what you have what might be being used today and where you might want to head in, head in what sequence so if you look at our DNA, to summarize, is focusing on some of the leading technologies to create disruption with the combination of experience and IP. This is. Uh, let's talk about a couple of them. Take a fifth largest bank in the US. When at a CDO and a CTO level, when they are, well, as I said earlier, uh, setting up their their journey to now create a centralized data lake strategy to serve multiple of business constitu constituents whether it is retail banking commercial banking internal operations uh, insurance business or other businesses that bank that size would have again the challenge left with them is okay what data is regulatory covered through regulations, what data is covered through compliance, what is the information that is core banking versus not, what information is used, being used by what and who. And when you're making that transition and you're spending to upwards of 50 to 100 million dollars, how do you make sure that you're taking the right steps 
step one for that is to even understand what landscape you have even before you get there that you need to in, in your in your current state that you need to target to target state right convert to a target state we help them both with advisory as well as technology to identify a uh, first of all of course chart the capability architecture for them identify what the current landscape looks like identify all the detailed components uh, of whether it's their uses their applications uh, who is using what and bring that to to a form that you can make a rational decision to say where should i invest my next six months in which will get me a roi that i can show my management and chart them through that whole journey and that's a very live example that you're working on today similarly working with similar companies that size in different segments but we are seeing this this particular problem is a large company problem whether it is bfsi or it is large high tech or is it large retailer anybody who is navigating through plethora of information targeting to get into a more sophisticated analytics world to disrupt their competition they have that problem we are seeing early adopters in high tech in retail and bfsi but if i look at india as a market i think i would say bfsi would be more apt at this stage So you have to look at India in a very different way. Now, while we have set up our overall business as a global business, even what we support here from Bangalore, we support our global customers, very large premier brand names. When you convert those services and look at India, you have to be a little innovative about that. Uh, just the difference between a lot of our customers in Silicon Valley are early adopters. They pride on being being first and the failure is revered so there is a room for trying new things and failing we don't see necessarily that for other markets and i would say india will qualify for that which means if you're doing something new you better be sure that you're doing something right you're making right selections you are learning from experiences of others and i think over the last two weeks i've had five cdo and cio conversations with very large companies in india and the common theme i'm seeing is saying give me something that has been well tested and which has worked show me and tell me your experiences because there are a lot of people coming and creating hype about a ton of technology names and people are throwing open source technology names to till you get tired how do you shift through that so our first approach is make sure that we are the right advisors for these companies followed by we are very open to investing and co-investing in solutions we are large enough to be able to invest and small enough to be very flexible for our customers our market approach to india is going to be very collaborative and co-investment centric but customization to an extent of we are not the shop typically you will go and say that i have all sorts of requirements and here requirements go build it i'm sure there are much larger companies who can do this better i think we are the shop who will engage when you are starting on a journey or somewhere clear that you want to be on that journey we tend to learn and understand your business we tend to identify what you may or may not be doing uh, where might there be hidden values and then work with you to translate that to what are right technology choices that you could have and i think that's where we are all about trust and brand as compared to scale so if i was to summarize the market today and i don't think that's that statement i'm going to make pertains to any particular region or industry the market is about relevance and relevance of technology as compared to scale. So, and then we see that message resonate and this is our fifth year in operation. We are a self-funded firm and phenomenally well, that message operates very well and works very well for uh, our customers. Before I came in, honestly, I was not sure uh, what uh, this event was going to look like. Uh, I've been, and again, I'm, Relatively personally more involved in the US market, but this was a good opportunity to see uh, a, a good event. So when I came in and started meeting and talking to people, I was very pleasantly surprised that the quality of delegates with the relevance to their industry, the relevance to their role in terms of their buying capacity uh, and decision making power was very high. So I've been very pleasantly surprised with the people uh, and really enjoyed it thoroughly talking to the delegates here. So I'm definitely sure I mean, you guys have done a good job on that.